The Nintendo Switch has been around for a while now, so I thought it's time for me to do a video showing my top 10 favourite Nintendo Switch games. In at number 10, we have Splatoon 2. I didn't get around to playing the original on the Wii U, um, but when this came around for Nintendo Switch, I thought I'm definitely going to go and pick it up. It is one of the most unique uh, shooters I've ever played. And it is a shooter, it's just you're not firing out bullets, you're actually firing out ink. Um, and it's got loads of squids and octarians, I think the bad people are called in this game. The bad people, yeah. <laughs> um, but it is classic Nintendo, it's very kind of unique and observe, obscure. But it works, and it's got a really good single player campaign. Um, the multiplayer on it is great, especially I enjoy, I enjoy the Splatfest that you can play online. And yeah, so that is number 10. If you haven't played the original, I would definitely recommend picking this game up. In at number 9, we have another unique title from Nintendo, ARMS. When I first saw this released uh, last year, I was a bit hesitant to pick it up because I kind of thought it's not going to really last very long. I'm not really going to play that much of it. Um, but playing it this year, I was actually wrong. I actually really enjoyed it. And it's not your kind of typical kind of easy fighter um, that you would have thought maybe Nintendo might have come up with. It's actually pretty challenging, especially towards the end. It's a very polished game. Um, there's a lot of unlockables and the multiplayer on it is absolutely brilliant. I mean, me and my girlfriend and her sister and her boyfriend had a lot of fun playing through this game uh, this summer. And if you're into fighting games, I would definitely recommend it. So, in at number 8, we have another big summer game that come out this year, Mario Tennis Aces. This is, without doubt, my favourite Mario Tennis game. Uh, I'd say it's just ever so slightly better than Mario Power Tennis on the GameCube. It's definitely better than the 3DS and Wii U versions. Um, it's just got loads of cool new stuff. Uh, it's got the zone shot uh, mechanic. You've got zone speed as well. I think they're both brilliant. It's got cool new characters. You've got Chain Chomp with a racket in his mouth. I mean, whoever come up with that idea is just absolutely brilliant. Um, it's got a cool adventure single player mode, although short. I think it's very polished and enjoyable while it lasts. And yeah, I think it's just a, a great game. It's not perfect, but it definitely deserves a spot on my top 10 list. Okay, in at number 7, more recently, I have Super Mario Party. Very uh, hard for me to decide between number 8 and 7, but I think this one just about it's just ever so slightly better. I mean, I really enjoy the 80 all new mini games that it brings. I think they're probably the best in the series, at least for a long time since like Mario Party 4 or 5. Um, definitely better than the uh, Wii U and 3DS uh, versions of the game. And I just know that they're going to bring out a sequel in the future. Um, there's no way they're just going to leave just one Super Mario Party, especially if it sells well, which I think it has. So yeah, that definitely deserves a spot in my top 10 list. In at number 6, we have Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I brought this on launch last year and I played probably about two thirds of the game. So I got pretty far into it. And I was quite, I kind of just lost interest on it. I just thought it was too difficult. Um, I thought a lot of the areas kind of looked the same and I just really wasn't that into it. But I played it again this year. I actually fully completed the game and unlocked everything on it. And I can say that... I was wrong last year. This is actually a really cool, unique game. And if I really recommend it, especially if you like uh, turn-based uh, strategy kind of RPG games. Don't be put off thinking that it's colourful, but because it's colourful and because it's Nintendo, it's easy. This game is not easy at all. In fact, it's one of the hardest Switch games that I've played. Um, and you really will have a challenge with it. So if you really like kind of Mario, or even if you like Rabbids, I would say pick it up. It is very, very good. And also it's got a Donkey Kong uh, DLC expansion as well, which was added this year. You can, If you haven't got this game, you're better off getting the Gold Edition because you get this full version of the game. Um, you get additional weapons and you get the Donkey Kong uh, Adventure DLC, which is almost like another game. It is pretty short, but you know it's definitely worth getting that version than just this one by itself. Okay, so halfway through the list now, in at number five, we have... One of my favourite games of all time, or one of my favourite 2D platformers, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Now, yes, I know it's a port of the Wii U version, which I've also played, but I'm doing this list on my favourite top 10 games that you can play on the Switch, not necessarily Switch exclusives, because there are a load of ports. The Switch is only a year and a half old, well, two years in March. 
So, you know, we just got to go with what there is to play on it right now. But yeah, there's a lot of awesome games and this is definitely one of them. Again, very challenging, but also very rewarding. Um, I like how they've added a new enemy, the Snowman, so it's like a giant kind of walrus ice kind of guy. Um, it makes a change from the Kremlins in the original uh, Donkey Kong trilogy, although they were great. You know, it's nice to have new enemies. I really eagerly anticipate a sequel uh, maybe next year or the year after. I mean, with how well that this game is sold, especially it being a port, I really want them to bring out a sequel, and I think that would sell very well, and I think it would be awesome. So, yeah. Okay, almost done with the list. We've got four more left. In at number four, we have Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Again, I know another port. It was released last year for PlayStation. Um, Xbox and Switch got it this year. But this is an incredible value for money. I think I picked this up from Smith's for like $28.99. And you get three games for the price of one. Um, three full games as well. It's not like they're mini games or whatnot. I mean, they're not overly lengthly but you know <clears throat> play through this in the summer uh completed all three of the games and i've got to say probably the original was my favorite then i would say the original's crash bandicoot obviously the second one's called uh crash bandicoot cortex strikes back and then the third is crash bandicoot free warped my opinion i like the first one the third one then the second one but they're all brilliant there's not a bad one out of the three but yeah this is awesome if you love Crash Bandicoot or 2D platformers and you want a challenge, pick it up because you can get it for pretty cheap. Okay, on to the final three games in my top 10 Nintendo collection list. We have my first Nintendo Switch game I've ever played, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Again, yes, this is a port. However, this is greatly has greatly improved, uh, improved features over the Wii U version, especially the battle mode. Um, the battle mode in the, the Wii U, uh, Wii, uh, losing my words there. The battle mode in the um, original Mario Kart 8 was it, ha it was stupid. It was like you're kind of on like a track and you're just kind of driving around in a loop, uh, trying to get people rather than having like a proper kind of wide space uh, battle arena like in previous Mario Karts. Um, it's also got cool new characters. You got the I don't know if you can see there. You got two of the Inklings. Uh, you got Gold Mario, Bowser Jr. Dry Bones, and one of my favourite characters, King Boo. But yeah, it's just brilliant, and the online on this is great, and I mean, you always, come on, who doesn't have time for Mario Kart? Always going to be playing this game, it's absolutely brilliant. In at number two, my most recent pickup, and one of my favourite Switch games, because I think it's brilliant, I'm probably about two thirds of the way through the game, and I've already decided that it is number two, we have Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Yes, that is right. It's only just been released. Um, there was also a Pikachu version. I got the limited edition with the Pokeball Plus controller. Um, I did an unboxing video of that last week. If you check it out, if you haven't already, if you want to see just what the Pokeball controller looks like. And yeah, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, it's a remake of Red, Blue and Yellow but it's like a full-fledged remake. It isn't just like a few new features added. Everything looks better. Um, well, for the most part, there was one or two things that I changed uh, from the original that I dislike, but for the most part, um, everything is just greatly improved upon the original, and it's awesome. I mean, if you love Pokemon and you own a Nintendo Switch, you owe it to yourself to get this game. So yeah, that is number two. Now, coming right to the end of the list, and again, before I say any more, these are games that I've played so far. I'm aware there are obviously uh, much more awesome Nintendo Switch games that I haven't played yet that, you know, would be on this list. But these are my personal 10 that I have played so far. So, without further ado, in at the number one spot, if you haven't already, if you haven't already guessed, it is, of course, Super Mario Odyssey. This game is one of my favourite games of all time. I mean, it's probably my second or third of all time, and it is clearly my favourite Nintendo Switch game. This is a near-perfect game, guys, for me anyway. I mean, it's got like over, I think, 1,000 moons or 9,999 moons. Um, it's got like 15 uh, amazing detailed kingdoms. It's got an awesome um, cat throw mechanic where you can capture like 50-plus enemies. Uh, the music in it is, is great. Uh, it's got a cool, you know, uh, battles of boss fight. And it's got tons and tons of replay value. I think I've played about 160 hours of this so far, maybe more. 
Um, but yeah, it's just such such a good game. And if you love Mario, even if you don't, if you love platformers that, are, that you're going to be playing for a while and are going to keep you busy <clears throat> and look as good as this one, this might just be a game for you. Scrap that. It will be a game for you. This probably will be my favourite Switch game ever. I mean, Smash is coming out next month, so we'll see. That may take the top spot. Most likely will take second or third place. But for me right now, this is my absolute favourite Nintendo Switch game. So just a quick recap. Da, 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 da. Add Splatoon 2, Arms, Mario Tennis Aces, uh, Super Mario Party, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Yeah, I know, a lot of Mario. What can I say? They're great games. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, da, 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 da. Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Pokemon, Let's Go Eevee, and of course, like I just mentioned, Super Mario Odyssey. Let me know in the comments what uh, are you, your guys' favourite Nintendo Switch games. Um, maybe, you know, show me what uh, collection that you guys own. I'd be very interested to see uh, your opinions on your Nintendo Switch games. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more future top 10s and unboxings and collection videos. Thank you very much. Goodbye.